As we began our journey, just as a young lad in Diablo, we chose the Sorceress class because we know they are strongest of them all. Early on, our clash was dominating the world. We quickly learned the spell Chain Lightning to further our progression. Then, when we wanted even more power, we learned Firewall and we burned down our enemies in a glory of blaze. After studying the sanctuary and spending hours and hours theory crafting, we came up with a build called Fireball with Meteor and we thought that was the most powerful build of them all until we encountered the Ice Beast and once we slayed this demon after hours and hours of a gruesome battle, he dropped the Oculus. Now I bring to you teleporting meteor blizzard ice spike bombs. What's up everybody? Kafka here and while we run this dungeon, this level 100 vault, I want to talk about this build. I'm switched over from a previous build fireball meteor and I will say that this blizzard meteor oculus build is much easier to clear tier 100 anything. It does bosses a little bit faster as well and it's very fun to play. So a couple things you'll notice on the screen here is I have all the uniques that I think that are important in this build. And I'm gonna display them up here. First off, a Starfall Cornet. This item actually does a ton of extra damage, but that's not all it does. It also synergizes with protection and protection gives you a barrier every time you use a cooldown. So you're gonna to wanna to max this out in the skill tree, which I'll talk about later on when we look at the skill tree. Another thing the Starfall does is it affects your enchantment ice blades. So every time you use a cooldown, you get more ice blades up. So what that does for you is more damage. So more cooldowns being used, more ice blades come out, more damage happen. Glorious. I also use Raymond of the Infinite because the Raymond of the Infinite is a big damage increase and it helps keep everything stunned. When something's stunned in a place, you're able to cast the Meteor a little bit easier on it or the Blizzard or bring them together into the Blizzard or the Meteor. So overall, a big damage buff and a little bit easier to crowd control all the mobs. And the reason why I'm able to use Raymond and have such a high armor is because of the new aspect Juggernaut. So Juggernaut increases armor by almost like 6,000. When you have Juggernaut on, your evades are 100% longer. But with the Oculus, you're not gonna need all those evades. So you could feel very comfortable being able to evade slash teleport enough if you have the Oculus on. And another great thing about the Oculus is it's resetting your cooldown for your barrier. So you consistently have barrier up and you're gonna use aspects on this build that increase damage while you have a barrier. So everything kind of works well together to put these uh, aspects and uniques together. And those are kind of the main ones I would say are very, very important to make sure that this build's very successful for you and your gameplay. So something you might have not seen in patch notes, but they actually fixed the Oculus too. So you notice when I teleport with Oculus, I do get the Asus Heirloom affix of extra speed. I believe it's 75% for three seconds. So this could possibly be a very, very good build for the gauntlet because you are moving very quick. And if you teleport into the right spot, most of the time, you could probably get a lot of fast times in the gauntlets. So we're gonna hop right in to the whole build video. Also link in the description for the full build. And give me a like and a subscribe for putting together this video. I would really appreciate it. Uh, but let's go over and take a look at everything about this video or this build. Okay, we're gonna start off with the full gear. And then we're going to get into the Sinistral Construct. We will look at the skill points and the Paragon board. So, man, I'm some fun, baby. This is a good time. Actually, this build is a lot of fun. So you got to try it out. All right, so we already showed the Starfall. We showed Raymond's. We do have Deep Freeze, Ice Spikes, 50% radius uh, for explosions on the, on the gloves. I like Lucky Hit on these for resources. 
Uh, crit, intelligence, attack speed would be better than lucky hit if you had it. Uh, this is what I was talking about, the juggernaut pants. These things are bomb. My armor is so high. It doesn't show in town, though. So if you don't see it in town, it shows out in the open world. So the aspect doesn't work while you're in town. Aspects just don't work in town. Asu's heirloom, so you can get that extra speed, extra crit. The Oculus, not even a perfect roll. I still need a better evade charge on it. We got the ice spikes on the neck. So this is an interesting one. I do like the damage reduction while injured. I do like cooldown. I like devouring blaze. I would substitute some stuff here though. So I would do plus to mastery. You don't need the extra armor actually. So you don't have to have armor on the neck. So you could replace total armor for mastery skill damage, or you could do defensive. So you could free up some more skill points and maybe put those into resist. I use the Ring of Scarlet Skies. You could use Prodigy here. Um, Prodigy works just fine. And you could also use, if you had Prodigy, you could get crit damage. Uh, you could get core skills. You could get vulnerable damage. So you could do anything. Uh, you should be able to get Talrashes, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and then uh, on the weapons, you got uh, barrier damage. And then, uh, then you have the Oculus, obviously, which we already talked about. You can swap this out if you don't like how the Oculus plays. You could swap this out and use Vulnerable Damage Wall Barrier. I love the Oculus, so I'm, I'm running it. All right, so this is the Finishall Construct Tempest with Breaking Support for extra vulnerability, and then the extra resources, and then Fortify. Fortify will leave once I get the uh, or the uh, Genesis or Evernight. Evernight would go here. And then Genesis would go on this one and replace Safeguard. So Duration, Tactical, and then Flash of Adrenaline. All right. So we also are going to go into the skill tree. And the skill tree looks like this. Then we'll go into the skills. Well, we'll look at the skills first. So we are using Firebolt with Ice Blades, Lightning Spear, Flame Shield, Ice Armor, Teleport, Blizzard, and Meteor. We're using Firebolt, Frostbolt, doesn't matter. Elemental Dominance with Devastation. One point into Potent Warding. All the way to Shimmering Teleport. Just one into Flame Shield. All the way maxed out Glass Cannon. Get your Ice Armor, because you use Ice Armor instead of Ice Blades on the bar. Elemental Attunement. You could use Ice Blades if you want even more damage, but it's, it feels good to have a little protection. So then we're going to take Ice Blades to Summon Ice Blades, take Lightning Spear all the way to Invoked Lightning Spear, max out Conjugation Mastery. One point in line the elements, then max out the two. Protection and mana shield. Only one point to blizzard, and then mage's blizzard. And then you're gonna go meteor to wizard's meteor. The reason why is this is good because you immobilize targets, which is really nice for extra damage with the devouring blaze. So that's a 60% damage increase when they are immobilized, which is fantastic. Which the blizzard build Man, when you're fighting bosses, like the they stagger so much faster with Blizzard than any other ability, so that's why it's pretty sweet too. We are gonna go into permafrost and get icy touch, and you're gonna get horror frost, and then use combustion. I'm mean, not combustion. S who's ferocity. And then let's get to the paragon. You're gonna get flame feeder. You will go into elemental summoner, which gets you the enchanter. So you can see how the extra uh, non-physical damage is fantastic. So that's even more damage when I max this glyph out. Elementalist is right here. Buffs the resist and non-physical damage. You also get non-physical damage and non-physical damage. And this is the enchantment mastery. So you're going to go down and you're going to go into the burning instinct, which is destruction, cinders, smoldering burrs. Go right around the corner. So you're actually using eight paragon boards which is kind of crazy. You're going to go to Adept. This is where you get Frigid Fate. It's the Frigid Fate board. You go down from Frigid Fate, so you come around, boom, boom. And then we go into, I think this is Seasless Conduit. So we get Stalgmite. This is for your uh, Ice Spikes damage. Extra Ice Spikes damage when you get Intelligence, fantastic. We go around, we come in, you're getting Control, and then you are just getting Ice Fall for the extra damage for your frost skills. So you're using eight boards, but you're using seven glyphs. Pretty sweet build. Man, I am enjoying it. Having a good time, leveling up all my stuff, trying to get the things I want. There's still improvements to be made. This is a bad focus, the stats. I didn't want to explain the stats on the focus. I still need better stats on the neck. I still need better legs. 
So there's 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 improvements to be made, and uh, obviously I don't have all the uh, Uba uniques either, <laughs> so I only have the Ring of the Scarlet Skies, and you know another one you could uh, go ahead and you're gonna want those tuning stone or the Evernite and the Genesis uh, stones as well. So that's it for today's video. Hope you play it. Hope you try it. Hope you subscribe. Hope you like. Hope you share it. And uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.